everyone. I thought I'd make another update video. I've been intending to make one every week and I thought I'd only uploaded the last one last week but I checked and it was two weeks ago so I have no idea what happened there but anyway let's get on with this. Now through this door was the room that I really didn't like. And now look at it. It exists. Uh, everything has been resized actually. For reasons. Horrifying reasons. But yeah, these windows were repositioned. These arches were four wide and are now five wide to make it for a better arch. Now, this ceiling is now back in place. There's even decoration as you can see. And there's a cute colour scheme and a texture scheme. Their ceilings. Uh, there's a test case. <laughs> that sounds really unpleasant, the test case. I'm not going to refer to it as a test case in future. Uh, this is kind of a pedestal for statues, but I think it might also be the world's most expensive sand pit. And on the other side here is basically the same thing, but a bit smaller. Different arches, but still very cute. You've even got a little room in here that will eventually be the lift. I might as well show off the secrets while I'm here. This is what's going on in the interfloor spaces. Usually there's even these little corners down here for the doors when they line up properly. Now, oh, son. Yeah, I've had several people help me with this room and I'm extremely proud of it. Knowing how we started this room with absolute horror of not knowing what we were doing or how we were going to make it work. I am extremely pleased. Not only that, but we now have the connection to the next room. Which is a lot smaller than I'd like, but it works. It fits really well actually, it's kind of cute. There's a little staircase that goes down here. And then under here, and here we have a Sphinx. This thing makes me laugh. When me and Zach were building this, I thought we need a placeholder sphinx here just to see what it would look like and I just threw this up within a few minutes and now everyone I've asked tells me I have to keep it. And then someone put cake here and now it looks like it's wearing little boots. It's adorable. So yeah I guess we have a sphinx whether I like it or not. And through here there's a switch here for the door. Can I get this without? Yes. Oh, this is not showing up at all. Where is my night vision? That's better. This goes through here. A lovely transition. I even kept the stairs on this archway. It's kind of code now for this thing is very old. Having stairs instead of slopes. Yeah, that's adorable and it's got a switch that should not be textured like that, but I broke it earlier and now it's ended up like that. Yeah, I'm extremely pleased. Proud, pleased, whatever. And if we stop the rain. This is the next area. Uh, until yesterday, I didn't even have the outside wall here, so. This is some of the prep I've done in preparation for Sunday, the normal Louvre day. Which isn't really a lot of preparation, but I've, I've measured out what rooms are in this particular area. So they're kind of boarded off and all we have to do is put the rooms in place, do the ceilings. It should be quite a simple task. 
Structurally, the room isn't too different to the one we've just done. It's just made of a completely different material. So it should be easy. Oh, we need a name for it. It is known as the Sphinx now, though, because whenever I mention the Sphinx, everyone knows what I'm talking about, and it's not even that good. Why do people do this to me? But this is that good. I do love this area. It's still not done yet, though. The lighting is almost done. There are no windows, but that's a later stage. And we are going to add some textures to the stairs that go around the edges. I'm not entirely sure what yet, but I know it's going to feature that sandy, bronzy colour and some kind of pattern involving that. So yeah, this is my greatest achievement of late. A very, very wonderful room. Which will henceforth be known as the granite room, considering there's no other room that's granite. And the one other room that does use granite is pink. I aim to give updates at least once a week, along with any other random nonsense that's been going on. But I want to at least do one of these videos a week to show off the new areas without too much faffing about.